Shalom Vacha. There are many things in um, in relationships and in um, in family connections in in the in that meeting of the individual with uh, with relatives that he's very very close to emotionally and spiritually as well and um, and some of those challenges can be very very difficult can be very very complex now there is something that makes life very very hard and it's the emotional cargo that we're carrying with us from one experience to the next. We are experiencing in many situations of our lives great fear, great pain, great um, disappointments based on great hopes and, and, uh, and dreams that we had and when we wake up to a new day and a new reality, many times the, the, the family and people we put our trust in are not exactly as we hoped um, they will be. And they have their own dreams, they have their own mindset, they have their own hopes, they have their own needs, their own fears, and the relationship and the conversation um, wakes us up and brings us many times to that place that we feel divided, that we feel a great pain because of that, um, because of that, um, because of those differences. Now, a person that has faith that really understands that the Creator is running his life will find in those times ways to overcome his emotional suffering because he will understand that every one of those meetings or experiences came for a purpose, came for a reason, coming to teach us, coming to purify us, coming to educate us, to point us and to push us to a certain direction but to those ones who are not holding in those high and spiritual levels those pains stays as scars as disappointments as uh, as trauma even and uh, to those broken ones i'm talking i'm speaking i'm with you um I'm not one of those uh, spiritual pillars of light that are above reality, that are above uh, emotion. I don't know if uh, there are any real ones like uh, like that, but uh, but let's let them enjoy um, the doubt that there might be. But. For people like us that experience emotions, that experience feelings, that experience disappointments, that had great hopes from certain relationships and found themselves in great struggles. For people like us, I think that um, it's very important for us to understand that um, two things I will say. First of all, that life here on earth are temporary while our soul is eternal means that we must remind ourselves in times and days of struggle that this is a certain experience that we're going through it's a certain phase of darkness of difficulty and it might take even 70 years even 100 years of pain Yesterday I spoke with a, a certain friend of mine, uh, an elder woman, um, that we bless her husband to to be healed completely, and she's going through challenges and difficulties one after the other. And I told her, I gave her this advice, and I told her that we need to remember that our bodies are are carrying us for a certain while 
but our souls are are eternal and we must remember that and they told her and you know this world is the Zohar Kadosh is saying the world is a world of lie I told her it's a dark world it's the world is dark it's blocking the light of, of God and she said yes I I don't mind that it's dark I just want it to leave me alone <laughs> the world she wants the world to leave her alone already the pain is is huge people are suffering people are experiencing great trauma horrible pain great disappointments painful hours and 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 many of us even for years for long periods of time going through great challenges and and years of loneliness and years of of struggles so first of all i think it's very important to remember that life here um, in this uh, earth and physical world are temporary but our soul that we need to focus on is spiritual and eternal and never ends so it's like you got into the cold water but that's not where you stuck for life that's where you're at for that moment for those couple of years for those 70 years even but that is not your eternity that is not where you stuck forever for good. So I think that first of all, this is something that we must remember. And while remembering it, it's important to remind ourselves that it's not a punishment, that it's not a test, that it's not a trial. Those are not judgments. It's a mission. And in every moment of your life, you can succeed or fail. And it's like you're collecting diamonds. It's like a, 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 a like a computer game. Like you're you're gaming. You're a gamer. You're playing, and you can collect those chips. You can collect those prizes. Those uh, those uh, the, the candy crush. Those candies. Those those coins. You just collect them. And if you lost some on the way, uh, it's behind you already. You need to look forward to the next options because life are bringing you always to the next stage all the time we're running on on that time um, um route on that way and time is always passing by it's always passing in front of you and you're always in the present time and the future is always coming and what that is behind you always stays behind so there's nothing you can do with your past except for looking for the future, looking for the effort that is needed from you, from us as, as society, as human being in the present time. So remind yourself that we are here, that you are here on a mission, eternal mission in a temporary world, a temporary mission in, in, uh, in, in a much greater um, lifetime, eternal lifetime. And you just need to do the best that you can in, in every situation, in every moment. And if something happens, so okay, it happened. If someone hurt you, if someone insulted you, if someone disappointed you, okay, that's your test now. That's your mission now. That's your temporary challenge that you need to face and you need to be honest and you need to be strong and you need to be faithful and you need to be truthful and you need to be the best source of inspiration for others that you can be that's your mission so that's a that's one thing that we need to remember second is that and for me it's also very important i'm just sharing my heart and telling you lessons that i'm experiencing in my beautiful life second thing is that we must not take full responsibility on the whole wide world it's like Another person is an individual with a free choice and we cannot take decisions for them. We cannot take full responsibility on decisions that they are making. They are also individuals with free choice, with the ability to choose on their own. And that's God's will. And there is nothing that we can do to change it. You cannot set the path for your child. You cannot take decisions for your wife. You cannot force a person to be more spiritual or more truthful or more loyal or nicer or kinder or more patient. It's like you're talking to the walls. <laughs> Wake up. 
wake up you can just be yourself you can try to illuminate you can try to shine you can try to do the best and greatest thing you can do but more than that you cannot do you cannot do more than the maximum that you can do you cannot change a person we are not the creator we cannot avakadabra you cannot you cannot change a person with spells with words with uh, you cannot you cannot you know when i said now abracadabra i thought to myself uh, that you, just for you to know that um this uh, those words of of the magicians to say abracadabra or abada kadabra um it came from from Abraham, our father. Those are words that are written in a book that is uh, related to Abraham Avinu, um, that is called Sefer Yetzira, Book of Creation. And over there, Abraham Avinu is explaining to us that when the Creator created the world, um, he said things that he wanted to take place. And based on those uh, things, creation been created. Things started to rise, got shape, got created. And those words, Abra Kadabra or Avada Kadabra, means in Hebrew um, or in Aramaic, in both languages, um, what that I said will take place. Like, he said, and it became, and it came up, and it happened. So, Avada, it worked, Kadabra, like I said, like he said. So, that's the power of the Creator. So, therefore, those uh, spellers, they're um, pulling their knowledge from the ancient wisdom of our father, Avraham, the great and ancient and holy, um, the eldest one the greatest one of them all. May Hashem bless us all. Let's count on the Creator to continue leading us in the path of truth to higher and beautiful levels of existence, to rise and shine and to, and to live, and to live eternal life, even in this temporary dead body that is carrying us from point A to B. Bless you and may Hashem protect us all as one, always. Amen. Can you hear it, son? Thank you.